Hey guys, it's Nate Jackson. Okay, so the next feature that we're going to <clears throat> explore is the LinkedIn search feature. And this is one of my actually favorite uh, features that I put into the software. It gives you so much information uh, that you have access to. So what it is, is it's a way for you to leverage the power of the search bar and, excuse me, and get the results for uh, practically any search that you can enter into, into LinkedIn. So the first thing you want to do is let's start over. We want to go to Get Data, click LinkedIn Search, and then it says LinkedIn Search activated. And so we have a set of instructions here. First thing you're going to do is you're going to choose the proper search type, people, groups, or jobs. Uh, there's also companies and I believe posts and universities. And so you're going to, and then after that you're going to enter your search keyword. Uh, click the search button. So you enter, enter your search keyword in the bar, search search uh, box. Click the search button, which is a magnifying glass, which is right here. And then you'll be able to choose additional filters if you want. And you actually, there's another step here. You're going to choose a file name uh, by saving the file. And then you're going to click the start button. So we click OK here. And the first thing we want to do is go over to this drop down menu here. And you can choose people jobs companies groups universities or posts I don't have inbox in there yet uh, but you can choose these other uh, one two three four five six so let's start with people so let's say uh, I used to work as a mechanical as an engineer so let's say we want to search for people who have the title engineer and uh, uh, people with engineer titles. So <clears throat> we click that, and then we're going to click the. Uh, so it updated. So we'll just click it again. I know a lot of these guys actually. Some of these are I'm connected to. So we're we have 13 million results for engineer. Now you're not going to get 13 million uh, results. I believe it tops out at somewhere between a thousand and fifteen hundred is how many you'll get uh, because it's pa paginated. Uh, and so it's going to go through each of the pages and I think you can go up to like a hundred, 150 pages or something like that. So on the left side of the screen, you have the different filters that you can, uh, further, uh, narrow your results down to. So if you only wanted your second connections and your third and everyone else connections, so people that you currently are not connected to and can't message, uh, then you could filter that out and then if you have a plan to add these people as connections because uh, first connections you can already message people that you share group groups with so group members you can already message so if you only wanted to find people that you can't currently message so that you can connect with them and then message them then that would be the filters that you wanted to to choose if you you already your first connections these are the same as your contacts so you don't really need to do that unless you wanted to filter your contacts by uh, other criteria uh, say if you only want to find your contacts that were local to you then you could do something like that uh, so let's say we only wanted to find our second and third level connections you pick those and if you wanted to filter by location or filter by the current company where they work or by their industry or by their past company you can filter all that and then LinkedIn is just going to update the results that appear so uh, you can you can choose any of those so let's just say for the sake of argument let's say second and third level connections who went to MIT and live in Houston um, location Let's see, Houston. Let's see. So, let's see. So, from there, once you have your results defined, then you're going to pick a file name. So, click the Save File button. So, I'm going to call this MIT Engineers in Houston dot CSV. Save that <clears throat> and from there 
Uh, I believe our search is ready to go and it's going to go through all these results. So 467 results. And we're going to click start and it's going to start uh, cycling through these results and we'll see what this looks like. Uh, it's going to be in the same format as our get contacts results uh, without the email addresses. Uh, so we're going to come back. I'm going to fast forward through here. We're going to come back and take a look at the results. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, we're back. <clears throat> it says we found uh, 467 results. Results saved to uh, desktop MIT engineers in Houston.csv. So we'll close that and take a look at the file. MIT engineers in Houston. Profile as usual. Name, title, industry, and location. You see that? A lot of oil and energy here in Houston, which is to be expected. 468, so we're good. So we have the name, their title, their industry, and their location. So we're going to show you how we use the LinkedIn search for other types of searches. Not only people, but you can, we can also search the other, cat other categories, and I'll show you how that works.